Hi, I'm Mike Maloney, and welcome to another CSRM podcast. Today's episode is hosted by Dr. Greg Glenville. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another CSRM podcast. I'm Dan Stouffer, joined yet again with uh, Scott Stedman and Dr. Greg Linville. And uh, we're going back to some of our resources. We're all about, at CSRM, we're all about relationships and resources. And today we're diving back in with another ology uh, from the book Scent, Missiology, for the sports outreach community. And so Dr. Greg, um, maybe kind of catch us up to speed. Where does this book fall in line with the rest of the series? And what in the world is missiology? Well, it's good to be with you guys. I really enjoy this. And yeah, a number of years ago, the CSRM board said, let's, uh, let's put this all in writing. Let's put this all out in a digital for forum, a traditional hard copy forum, however people can access it. And so it is available via Kindle and all of those digital forums if people would rather get that. And oftentimes that's a lot more economically feasible for people around the world than having hard copies ship. The, the shipping costs are sometimes as much as the book itself costs or more. So it, it, it's in a couple of different forms, not the least of which what we're doing now, making a kind of an audio visual overview. Uh, we don't think that this replaces the book necessarily, but it certainly is a is a help to understanding it. All right. So with all that said, the Institutes of Sports Outreach book series that the board commissioned, it, it was originally envisioned to be about 12 books. It's probably looking closer to 20 right now. And so this one is the third in what is considered the ologies. And it is the fifth book altogether. And the plan would be that there would be five of the ology books, giving us the theological truths, the level one theological truths. What do we believe? What do we think? How do we envision? And so this is the third of those five. And the fourth one is in process of being written. And the fifth one is on the drawing board only. And, and then those ologies inform all the other books that we do. And I will put a plug in that we're, we've got one that's coming out, we hope this year, that will be on disability, how local churches can do disability-based sports rec and fitness at a local church. And we've got just our first book that was translated from English into Malagasy that has just kind of hit the presses. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the native tongue of Madagascar. And, and then we also have uh, a book that has been written in Dutch, and we're currently translating that into English. And so there's quite a bit in this series. All right, enough of that. Go to the website. You can get all that. What, where are we at on the ologies of sports outreach? The first one was the one on ecclesiology. It was called Putting the Church Back in the Game, the Ecclesiology of Sports Outreach. And so what we believe about the church is really important, both the universal, timeless, eternal church, but also the local congregations that make up that. And then from there, we went into what was called soteriology, coming from the Greek word, and all these are originally Greek words, ekklesia, for ecclesiology, and then soteriology from the Greek soter, meaning what does it mean to be saved? How, how do we get somebody actually into this relationship with Jesus? And then those gave the, the foundations for now this book, the missiology, and it's simply called sent, that, that we are sent on a mission, and that we're helping local churches understand their mission 
and what that would look like to fulfill the soteriology, salvation, and therefore complete the, the church concept. So that's where this book is in this, this liturgy, if you will. And Greg, I think, um, you know, this is a great resource. And again, you've already kind of mentioned, uh, you can always purchase this uh, through our website, csrn.org. Just click on the uh, uh, online store link. And then of course, all the other books that Craig mentioned are available there as well. And we encourage these for people in sports ministry um, to study, to grow, um, to bring your volunteers in, study with them. Or if you want to participate in a CSRM roundtable, regionally where you live, these resources are meant for you. But Greg, kind of kind of break down what missiology is all about in terms of what, why it matters. Why, why would another ology be something that could be applied to a local church sports minister, very specifically missiology? Well, let's just start with the fact that God sent his only son as a missionary. And Jesus was on mission. And if it's if there's nothing else for us to think about, that's good enough in and of itself, isn't it? And and so we we are his sons and daughters. We're his children, and we are on a mission too. And we should be like like Jesus. We should be on mission. Now we're obviously not like Jesus because we're not God, but we are like Jesus in the sense that we are sent on a mission. So. Let's put it in perspective here. For this is this is geared towards the very specific person, the sports rec and fitness outreach person at a local church. This is congregationally based. Now we also have a chapter or two that talk about those that are in the paraministry world or chaplaincy world. We'll come to that later. But this is this is very much relevant, the most relevant for the people that are that are doing this at the local church. And why is it relevant now? Why is this important now? What we saw up through the 1990s and the 2000s, early 2000s, was the number one facility that churches were building or adding was having something to do with sports rec and fitness the number one staff position that was being added. Most churches had other staff positions, but the one that was being most prevalently added was in that same area. And then about 2010, we began to realize that it had kind of plateaued. And by 2020, it was actually starting to go the other way. And the reason what we have found is, I'll give you just kind of an, uh, an example of this could be first church anywhere. And the elder at first church comes to us and says, you guys are blowing smoke at us because this doesn't really work. Because I, I started thinking this was great. And 10 years ago, and, and our sports person came and said, hey, 77 accepted Christ. They raised their hand, what we call a day's decision. And, and then the next year, there was 117. And then, and then at the end of the 10 years, we've had well over a thousand, close to two thousand people, but our numbers on a Lord's Day morning for for a worship service, our membership ten years later is less than what it started with, even with these couple thousand people. You guys are blowing smoke; it doesn't work. And and some of this, unfortunately, had to do with going back to the first two books. What do we believe about church? What do we believe about so soteriology and salvation? And so let's just get people to raise their hand, and, and then and then we're done with them. But are we really on a mission to go reach those who are far from Jesus, far from his church? And what does that mean? And so why is this relevant to the sports person? Is because a lot of them, they hours have been reduced, or their 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 position has been cut in half, or maybe they've been released. And some churches are even retrofitting sports and rec fitness facilities into other kinds of facilities. And, and it's because we have not made this connection. We have not connected the dots. We have not gotten that person started. It starts way out there, way far from Jesus. 
and we've not been able to draw them all the way into the local church. So that's why it's relevant, Dan. And and we we're speaking to the people who we're trying to we're trying to keep your ministry position. We're trying to help you to know why it is that you're not being successful. And Greg, I think when we think about this word missiology and mission in general, I think where a lot of uh, pastors, and I, I'm going to guess, you know, sports pastors would probably feel the same way. I think just in general, a- anyone with ministry um, responsibilities, I think we struggle with the difference between vision and mission. Hmm. And so if we're going to get to the mission and the mission's being given to us from God's word, but, but you know, how that plays out within our sports ministry, you know, God gives us some creativity as long as we're, we're focused on making true dedicated disciples. But could you kind of navigate those waters? What's a vision? What's a mission? And what's the difference between both of those? Yeah. And, and again, go back to the other books. We've talked about this, particularly the fundamentals of sports outreach, et cetera. But vision and mission are different. They're often used interchangeably, but they're very different. Vision it's it's a noun. It's a district descriptive term of something that people can see or know or think or experience. It's something that tangible. So it is the result of a mission. Mission is a verb. It's an action. It's what we do to accomplish our vision. And so this goes back to what we just said that the churches aren't being effective, they're not being successful, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that they don't know what their vision is, and then they don't know how to envision a mission, they don't know how to go and actually plan for and and organize and carry out a mission that is actually effectively reaching people. And so the vision is the end goal. The mission is how we accomplish it. And then there's strategies. How do we, in that mission, what is the most strategically relevant? This goes to the fourth chapter of that second book in the series, the fourfold uh, evaluative rubric. And that is, it's strategic. Okay, sports, rec, fitness, we know it's strategic. But a strategic sport in South Africa or New Zealand is rugby. And in the state of Indiana, it's basketball. And where I live, Dan, where where you went to school, uh, it's American football. It's Canton, Ohio is American football. And so it may be strategic generally, but relevant, it's not always relevant. I can take lacrosse a lot of places and it not be relevant. But if I'm not doing cricket in India or Pakistan, I'm not going to be relevant. And then it comes down to efficiency and effectiveness. What's the most efficient use of our facilities, of our equipment, of our people? And then all of it has to be effective. The strategy, the the relevance, the, the, the efficiency, all helps us become effective. And so what we are asking people to consider is, what are your success statistics? Your success statistics, are they... I go for a day's decision. Okay, like Jesus today, raise your hand if you like Jesus today. Or dedicated disciples, lifelong growing dedicated disciples. And so the relevancy of this book helps us understand what our vision is and then what our mission should be. The vision of this book is that there will be local churches around the globe that understand missiology, that they'll understand the concepts, they'll have the comprehension that they need so that they can then go and do it. So this book gives a vision for how that church can do it. And our vision for the book is that that's what we will see at the end of this, churches that are equipped to go do this. Then the mission of this book is to help people understand how they need to envision their ministry, and how they need to organize it and then implement it so that you move from theology, how you envision it, what you think, what you believe, to how you organize it, what your organizational structure, when, where, with whom, all those things, 
And then finally, what you do, the methodology, the model. So that's a little bit of an answer to vision and mission overall, but also the vision and mission for this book. And, I, you know, what I love about CSRM is we're all about the local church and we want to equip the local church sports minister, recreation minister, fitness minister to think all this through because yes, the, the Bible has given us what we're supposed to do, how, how we are sent, the great commission. Um, but again, I, I mentioned earlier, we, we do have some creativity and sports rec, rec and fitness are a part of that creativity and how we, we reach people. Um, and so evaluating what makes the most sense for you to accomplish your vision based upon your context, I think is something that we want to help you think through. Uh, Greg, you already used a, a couple of different examples. If we're we're trying to um, incorporate a sport or a class or something that does not um, reach our community, doesn't fit, then that's that's not a very good vision or a very good mission strategy. So I think all of this really just kind of helps us to uh, envision uh, how we can make our ministries better. So I think that that's a great definition. I think a lot of people do struggle between vision and mission, and I think you did a great job breaking that down. So, mm -hmm. Scott, any any questions on your end? We've got a couple minutes here in this episode. No, I, I mean, I was just, questions? I mean, think, just thinking about the topic of mission and vision, I think, you know, you, you gave the example of, you know, well, in your community, what's the big thing? If it's football, if it's volleyball, if it's lacrosse, like, you know, that would be, great thing for minister i think at the same time if you have a good vision with sports like you know for me like you know i'm a rugby player and rugby is not a big selling sport here in ohio uh but i think that if you can introduce something and you have a vision to introduce something and you have a plan to do it for a mission in some ways it may be one of those things where if you have a good vision and you activate your mission effectively that it's something that people could also invest in too uh, but you also kind of have to keep the back door that if it doesn't work well because it is a football town so everybody's preoccupied with football yeah that makes that makes a lot of sense again i think just a, a relevant strategy of thinking everything through and, and hopefully this book, um, you know, will encourage you, will inspire you to know that we, we all have a part to play in this. And uh, Greg, I love that you describe Jesus as a missionary. And that that's true. And, and he empowered us all and entrusted us all with the church and the opportunity to make other disciples. He gave us that responsibility. And so we have a big responsibility. And so being equipped and encouraged to understand we have a mission and to go out and fulfill that mission, I think, is something that we should talk about. And so hopefully within your context, uh, as you invite other coaches, other volunteers, as you take this book or this podcast and, and bring it to your church leadership, I think having conversation with them, do we have a clearly defined biblical vision and mission for our church and for our sport rec and fitness ministry? I think all those conversations are very helpful. So we've defined what missiology is. Uh, we've kind of given some good practical examples between a vision and a mission. Uh, hopefully your appetite is getting uh, wet already for what is next for you. And uh, we are, we're running out of time for this episode, but I want to again, draw your attention to our website where you can order this book sent and you can go to csrm.org and you can order the book or copies there as well. And Greg mentioned we've got some digital options there uh, beyond the physical book. If, if, if you want the digital option, you can do that as well. I mentioned it earlier, but we encourage you get a book, several books, start a round table. We want to help you with that in your regional context so that other like-minded people who do what you do can gather together, be encouraged and to build those relationships so that we can all capital C wise, uh, capital C wise, the, the, the church, the, um, the body of Christ can continue to move forward with the mission that he has entrusted us with. So with that, we're out of time for this episode. We sure hope you'll join us again for the next episode as we continue our conversation about scent, missiology, or the sports outreach community. Thank you so much. The CSRM Podcast is a production of CSRM and their production house, Overwhelming Victory. Dr. Greg Linville 
is the executive producer, and Scott Stedman is the associate producer and editor. To learn more about CSRM, visit csrm.org. For more information about Overwhelming Victory, visit overwhelmingvictory.org. The CSRM Podcast is the flagship member of the podcast network Overwhelming Victory Radio. For more information on Overwhelming Victory Radio or to listen to our partner podcasts, visit overwhelmingvictory.org backslash OV Radio. For CSRM Podcasts, I'm Mike Maloney. Have a blessed day.